chapter eight of Herland is called The Girls of Herland. The men are invited to give talks to audiences and classes. Van notes that although the men had considered the women savages, they really aren't. He notes an increasing inability on the men's part to adequately answer the women's questions. A more social event follows where the girls speak to them personally. Van notes with some satisfaction that unlike at home where Terry is sought after, here he cannot hold their interest. Van does, however, hold their interest himself. He says that he was not as popular at home, but here he has the largest group of ladies surrounding him. Jeff has become increasingly fond of Celis, and Terry tries to court Alima repeatedly, but is first refused. Van also says that he's become friends with some of the women, particularly Alador. The women have also been studying the men as service to the community. The men represented an opportunity for the women to revert to their earlier bisexual order of nature. Van also discovers that he has more followers because he's more like the women. Jeff's approach, seeking ways to protect or serve them, was unappealing and unnecessary. Alima and Terry quarrel and split, only to reunite. Jeff's devotion confuses Celis and delays their union. Van and Elidor grow to be friends. They take walks and she teaches him. They discuss, teach each other games, and eventually explore the land. All three men succeed in their courtships and weddings are planned. The men begin the chapter in the position of so many women in the Victorian era, primping for a party, hoping to catch attention, and wanting to stand out. Gilman spent several years without a fixed address. She traveled and gave lectures. Lectures are often followed by social gatherings where the guests can speak to one another and to the lecturer. At their gatherings, the men have followers. Terry's aggressive attitude, boastfulness, and sexism are not attractive to Herlanders. Jeff's chivalric attitude also puts off the women. The idea women need protection and guardianship was rejected in the past for Herlanders. Van enjoys having the greatest number of followers, while Terry changes aspects of his behavior to gain followers. Gilman highlights Van and Elidor's close friendship blossoming into courtship and love as the ideal. This was, again, a radical notion for a patriarchal place in time where gender roles were strictly upheld and marriage was more a hierarchical protectorate than an equal partnership. 